Sunday, August 30th, and we decided that we're going to screen in the raw, after waking up and having coffee, the third week of our Oscar Wilde, Shannon and Aura's excellent Oscar adventure. Today, we are going to give you a synopsis. Oh yeah, synopsis. Short. Not a long diatribe on of, every aspect of the plot. Uh, We're not going to do that today. Oh my god, okay. Of um, All Quiet on the Western Front, which was 1931 Outstanding Picture Winner. And um, first official depiction of the book. Um, so, what was your thought? You know, I think it's the granddaddy or the, the first of all the war films ever produced in America. It's interesting because it's an American take in early 1930s of a very famous German anti-war book which was published um, some years after the First World War. But when watching this, I think a lot about Apocalypse Now, Saving Private Ryan, Glory, all the great war films that follow. Um, I think we almost stopped watching this one after the yeah. first 20 or 30 minutes. It was hard to get, you know, there was a lot of, um, you know, effects that were, you know, hard to, you know, get into because they were so obviously cheesy, cheesy including like fireworks for bombs, which was kind of strange to see. Very ill-fitting, but you know it was the best that they could do for the time. Yeah, and actually, it was impressive. That, you know, yeah. we're so spoiled with the modern effects, but for the time, I think it, looking back, it was pretty good. I mean, their trenches right. were okay. They had a lot of extras on the set. I mean, the actual battle scenes, for the time, were okay. Yeah, there they were. Um, you know, the the so this is the story of you know once again. Um, World War One, mm -hmm. and I mean people that enlist and have this fantastical view of what war is going to be like, and of course it's not like that at all. What was interesting is that you're really not looking at one side or the other. It's people within a war, whether they're on the enemy side or on the you know side that we're on, um, and so you have to take that out of the context and. Um, dealing with death and dealing with um, returning home and then going back into war was a difficulty. Mm -hmm. um, returning with, I mean, dealing with people losing limbs and losing their mind, things like and that. That was a big deal for 1930. Yeah. I mean, a very, very big deal. I had a little bit of trouble getting past the fact that, of course, it's told from the German perspective. But all the Germans, of course, which are American actors, are talking very much like Americans talk. Yeah. There, there was not even a hint of a German accent. And so that part was a little bit hard to get past. But I'm not sure what else they would have done in the 1930s. They had some cute scenes in there, though, during their breaks where they were in France and they were swimming naked in the water. And you know, then there were some pretty French girls on the other side. And they sneak over there. And it was very cute. So they had some you know, kind of light, lightness to and, it. And they had that in the book, too. They had some joking. Um, so I would recommend it. It takes a while to get into it, I would say. Um, yeah, I think, I think probably about 20 minutes. you got to get past some of the, uh, the acting is not the best in the world. I mean, right. there's there's one scene where he's in the trench with the uh, the dead French soldier, which he has just killed, and it's, it's almost like a bad... Silkly from a Shakespeare you play the way he's talking. Yeah, there's uh, that. But when they were in um, underground, you know, during bombing, that was actually very good. It mm -hmm. showed how miserable it was in there, um, how hungry they were, what they had to battle, stuff falling from the ceiling, people getting hurt even while they were underground trying to avoid the bombing, things like that. Really, I thought it's a better war film than what came after it. Um, I think in your 1950s movies and the 1940s movies, uh, there was a lot more glorification of war. Um, the death in war was, you know, very, very dramatic. You know, the John Wayne movies and everything. I thought this was probably a better take on it than uh, what came along in the 40s and 50s. Um, so the question is, is, do we recommend it? Oh, absolutely. This has a very dark ending, though. And I don't remember the book ending that way. Uh, but the, the ending, I thought, was 
very, very dark. Yeah, it was a dark ending. Which I like. I mean, I like dark endings. And, of course, he's wearing the wrong type of hat, but it's not like we have warm helmets in the house. No, and so I haven't showered yet, so my hair just isn't doing that. Yeah, right. we haven't done anything for ourselves beauty-wise, so this is us in the rock. So, until next Excellent. week, we will be watching um, Cimarron for 1932. Right? Best picture. Best picture. Um, and then, hopefully, one day we're going to get into color. I think in about eight weeks. Okay. Have a good day.